Hey there everyone, I'm Valkyphanoite, and welcome back to Tales of Destiny! Last time we went through Rodeon, and I gave that episode a very, very stupid name. Yeah, not proud of that at all. <laughs> and today we are gonna go through, or at least gonna go to, Hellrios. We won't finish that place in this episode, but at least we are gonna start. Now, as you see, I am in a different place than where I ended off last episode. And, well, you see that little red dot down to the, uh, on the right there. That's where we were last time. I just, I just went here and this is where we are now. <laughs> so, let's enter Hillrows, which is another dungeon that a lot of people get a little bit lost in, confused, and I can really see that, but... Actually, I don't think it's that bad. It's actually quite an easy dungeon if you know where you're going, once again. But as I said before, pretty much every dungeon ever is like that. <laughs> anyway, text is displayed on the monitor. The first password, 5. Yep, there is a password in this place too. Great. Thankfully I already know it. Yeah, <laughs> That's the positive thing of... Actually, I haven't played the game before. <laughs> Anyway, here we get a juicy beef. Now get used to seeing these. There are a grand total of 25 juicy beefs throughout this whole dungeon. Why? I don't know. I just a guess they just want you to get enough protein or something. I don't really know. <laughs> anyway, we have new enemies. Kagool. Which isn't really a problem at all. Just hit them and they will die. <laughs> Uh, that's really all I have to say. They aren't really anything special. They can hit you for a decent amount of damage, but I don't think they can do much more than that. Not that I can remember, though they usually die way too fast, so... There's really nothing special about them. If you see anything, though, please tell me. I, I have never seen them do anything special at all. <laughs> anyway, as you see, we have conveyor belts again. Great. Believe me when I say this, though, you will hate this dungeon if you have a sensitive controller. You'll see what I mean. <laughs> anyway, these treasure chests I have actually never seen before until my last playthrough. I don't know why. They're not really that well hidden either, but I could never see them. I have no clue why. But you see, there's a lot of overall X and a G2. Yep, a G2. So, make sure you get them, since they are very, very helpful. Now, I will say this, though. you probably uh, seen that... you probably noticed in the last couple of uh, dungeons that... We have really gone from a uh, kind of old-school type of dungeon to a more high-tech. You know, the first part of the game, it was caves, forests, and castles. Now it's insanely high-tech stuff. I I actually really like that. The first game is... Uh, the first game, yeah. The first half of the game is more... Uh, medieval style, I guess. While the second part is more high-tech. I actually really like that. Anyway, we, you saw that we almost just got burned to a crisp. This flamethrower system seems to be triggered by infrared sensors. It detects your body heat. If someone enters into the area, it will fire but it needs time to recharge before it can fire again. Yeah, if you get hit by the flamethrower, you will lose, I believe it's 10% of your current HP. Which, well, it's not really that much, and they can never kill you. It will still hurt over time. Luckily, though, you can just go almost in front of them, and they will fire. But you can also do this. Just wait until this thing actually... There we go. It will... Re it, needs to, it needs a little bit time to recharge. But if you fight, if you actually fire your sources ring, they will also react to that, so... Yeah, you should probably never get hit by the flamethrower at all. <laughs> anyway, conveyor belt room. Great. And of course, there are some treasures you can get too on the conveyor belts, which are a little bit annoying to get. Ooh, the helm. Yes, another enemy that I have never seen do anything interesting at all, except... ...throwing bombs. And ow, ow, okay, okay, okay. I apologize, you are interesting. Fine, fine, fine. I hate when Dragon Blade does that. Okay, those discus enemies are annoying though. I will give them that. Wow, I 
taking a lot of damage in this battle. Holy shit! Okay, don't underestimate the discus enemies. Wow! I just lost over 4,000 HP. Respect. That is insane! Wow! Okay! Make sure you're a little bit careful around the discus enemies. They hurt, apparently! I have never seen that before. Wow! Nicely done. Nicely done. <laughs> anyway, it's time to go on the conveyor belts! Yay! Now there are two treasure chests you can get on these conveyor belts. If I remember correctly where they are, I... which I don't. I will just try, and you can also see that we have some machines here that are, uh, well, thrusting out some pipe-looking things. Those are supposed to be spears, and they are basically the same as the flamethrowers. They will, if they hit you, you will lose 10% of your current HP. But come on, you should not get hit by the, those guys at all, because they are, well, they are slow. It shouldn't be a problem to avoid them, to be sure. Anyway, blue treasure chest time, which means that we will always get something good. We get score D, which is of course a new skill for Johnny. The musical score of Rumba. Sweet. I will say this, I actually think Johnny's skills just get better and better when you get more of them. Shock the enemy with sound. Sounds awesome. And it's also actually a very good skill, so make sure you get that one if you have John in your party. Or actually, make sure you get it, even though you don't have him. <laughs> anyway, you saw there was a, a uh, door, almost a chest there. A door up there that we kind of want to go to, so let's go the same way. And I'm surprised that I actually remember where to go, because I, would, I was sure that I would actually get a little bit lost here. And... Yes, I totally know where to go. Or... Well, apparently I do. <laughs> there was a treasure chest there that I'm gonna get later on because it's out of the way, so or it's on the uh, the way back, so I'm gonna get it done instead. But we want to go into this room uh, and have a battle. Please no discus enemies. I don't want to use so much TP for first aid again. <laughs> but ale? All oh, right, the sword. Yeah, right. These things hurt and they are fast. Okay, apparently we have Tarsus in our party now. That didn't sound like Rumba at all. I'm sorry, Johnny, that was actually quite bad. <laughs> wow, that was even worse. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, okay, fine. The sword enemies there, they don't have much HP, but they can hurt you pretty bad. Anyway, Blue Church is just time, which got a volcano! This is it. What game did I just reference? Well, some of you probably know. <laughs> game with not so great voice acting, I'll say that. Uh, oh, T Spirit? Oh, okay, I probably put the wrong disc on her. But uh, yeah, what spell do you get from the Volcano Disc? See, it's a pretty good disc too, so I'm gonna give it to Rudy there. I could give Rudy or Philia the, uh, the 180 180. But I prefer them having discs that actually give them spells. So what spell do you get from the Volcano Disc? You will get Fireball, Firestorm, and Flare Tornado. Freaking epic. Definitely, definitely worth it. And we have another choice here with a Juicy Beef. Yeah, as I said, get used to seeing them. There's a lot of them in this dungeon. <laughs> well, protein's, all, protein's always good, I guess. Ah, come on. Oh, I don't have a holy bottle up either. Guess I shouldn't complain that. Yes, Johnny. That's jailbait. Good, Johnny. I think you should stay away from it. <laughs> we are leveling up left and right here, which is great. We're actually almost at high enough level to get our next sacred skill. Awesome. Anyway, here we get a card key, which is, of course, a very important item, so make sure you get it. You won't be able to get far without it. I can say that much. And uh, let's see, oh, all pretty well hidden treasure chest here with another juicy beef, come on. Let's see, to the food sack you go, ooh, 2,000. Wow, they're actually kind of worth it. 
Choose the beef. There we go. And we have another monitor here. Mother seems to be broken. Well, that's too bad. And apparently my holy bottle's broken too. Yeah. Well, I think that might be one of the first times that I've actually seen Philia kill an enemy. With the physical attack. <laughs> anyway, another juicy beef here, so let's use it. You just want to put it in the food sack, and there we go. Yeah, good, good. Now, where does this take me? I can't remember. Alright, oh, the other room, yeah. Before we go there, though, I want to go and get that other treasure chest that's in this room. Uh, how do I get out of here now? Oh, I... Oh, I messed up, didn't I? Yes, I did. Okay, the other treasure chest that it's in in that room is just the orange gel, so it's really not that important. But... Ah, it's gonna bug me now. <laughs> anyway, here we got a green... Wow, a green gel, thank you. Okay, fine, I'm gonna take it with me. Let's see. Green gel, green gel, where are you, green gel? Probably right in front of me too, isn't it? Should be at the top. There you are. And of course, I don't have room for it and I am full H I have full HP. Ah, That's screw it, I don't really care. It's, it's a green gel, come on. Don't really mind. But I believe there is one more item to get in this room. Problem is I can't really remember how to get there. But I, I noticed a pattern in this dungeon though that most of the conveyor belts, or at least most of the uh, the places you want to go, you need to go l uh, right and up a lot. So I'm gonna try that again, and it actually looks like that worked. Oh, I can't believe it. And actually, I think that is the orange gel. I think I just switched rooms now, or I got two rooms confused. Yes, I actually did. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Another juicy beef. But I think there is still a. Uh, a, uh, ah, a, uh, orange gel in that previous room, though. Might be wrong. Anyway, another broken monitor and another battle. Hmm, I actually didn't notice this, but this room is exactly the same as the one we were in not so long ago. <laughs> and the treasure chest is exactly the same, too, apparently. Juicy beef, juicy beef, juicy beef. As I said, it's... I believe there are twen there are 25 of them in this dungeon, so if you are a big time completionist and you need 15 of every item, at least you shouldn't worry about the juicy beef, I can say that much. <laughs> and yes, that was the orange gel, so let's use a orange gel, there we go. And let's take it. Great. Now though that we have the card key, we can actually get somewhere here. And as you see, we are back in the... Uh, well, the room before the first conveyor belt room, and we have a flamethrower right here, as you see. But before we go anywhere, there are actually semi-hidden treasure chests behind them. We got a pine gel, and guess what? Another juicy beef! I wish there would be this... I wish it was this easy to get juicy beefs in real life. Sadly, there's no, that's not the case. You will usually get a pretty crappy beef if you actually order a juicy one. And I'm talking out of experience here, yes. I love juicy beefs. I hate it when they're soggy and just... Yeah. So boring. <laughs> anyway, now that we have the card key, we want to go back. And we actually want to go through this middle door here. Which we... Ignored earlier. And here we actually have two monitors that are not broken. Let's see. Uh... Okay, that makes sense. As I said before, thankfully I already know the password. But I will say this, the first time, oh boy. Oh boy, this battle is not going to be fun. Ow! Two discus, really? Ow! I feel sorry for people at the back here. Don't know why I'm talking. I, sh I should probably just cut this battle out. <laughs> oh, well, it's almost done. Done anyway, so... Let's just finish it. Oh, nice dodge, that. Nice dodge. Thank you, John. You know, okay, I guess not. Ow! Wow, these things are dangerous in the corner. Wow. That is pretty insane. Okay, yeah. Ooh, your skill. Sweet. 
Do not underestimate the discus enemies. C go for them first. That's my personal opinion, yeah. <laughs> anyway, what did Chelsea get? Arrow Storm! Cool, an archer skill that showers enemies with arrows. Cool, cool. And I actually, I believe Gar... Yes, uh... Gar actually got Arrow Storm. Gar actually got the Arrow Storm skill some levels ago, but since I don't have a bow on him, it doesn't really matter. Anyway, in this one we have 19. Okay. As I said before though, the password in this place is actually very confusing. My first time through, I... I'm not, not gonna even gonna lie, I got so stuck with that password. I actually had to use a guide. Yeah, I'm not proud of that, but I had to. Anyway though, now that we have the card key, we can go through this door. The electromagnetic lock was disabled. And we are at the second part of Heroes. But I think this is a good place to end this off. But before I end the episode, I just want to tell you guys that uh, tomorrow I am leaving for my annual heart check. And I will be gone for three days. And I was supposed to record three videos for the days that I'm gone, today on Sunday. The problem though is that I forgot that today is Mother's Day here in Norway. Yeah, I forgot Mother's Day. I am a horrible son. <laughs> and because of that, in about I don't know, five minutes, we are gonna go to my grandparents' place. And I love my grandparents. I. I can't say no to go visit them, so uh, that was incredibly bad timing. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna record the three videos on my hotel room. Too. But the problem with that is I don't know how good the uploading speed on the hotel is. Last time I was there, the internet connection in general was basically non-existent. I hope they kind of fixed it now though. But, uh, sadly, I'm not making any promises. So, so there might be video while I'm still gone, but if it's not, uh, well, at least you know why. And once again, I am incredibly sorry for that. It's just, I can't believe how much crap happened while doing this game. It's just insane. But, uh, at least you know why there's not an episode, though, if, if the... Uploading speed is just so horrible <laughs> this time too. <laughs> so yeah, soon it's gonna be my seven year anniversary. Almost seven, it's almost been seven years since my surgery, it is insane. Time really flies. It's true what they say. <laughs> but uh, let's just hope that they say the same thing that said they have said every the last six times too, that everything's fine and nothing is Nothing bad is happening. So, yeah, crossing the f crossing my fingers for that at least. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to stop talking now and just end this off. So, I thank you all for watching and I might see might see you guys tomorrow, maybe maybe not. But if not though, at least I'll see you guys back here on Wednesday. So, yeah. <laughs> I thank you all for watching and I see you all then.